What's up, DJ Gons here. Just wanted to do this quick video on how to use the plugin called Arcade. I've been getting a lot of questions on people try to download it and then they try to use it in Serato Studio, but they run into issues. They're like, I can't get it to play. I keep loading it in and nothing happens. So I want to do a quick video on what you need to do to set it up and get yourself going using Arcade. So let's get into it real quick. So to start off, to even try it out, um, you can go to, to their website and I'll put the link on it on the video here down in the comment section. Um, so where you would just go to try it free as far as the cost on it after the trial, it's $10 a month and it's a sampler engine, kind of sampler synthesizer kind of deal. So they have a bunch of different kits that you can use. You can play them almost like lead sense or like samples and you play it off your keyboard, which you can play it off your standard, you know, keyboard to type, or you can use like a MIDI controller device, like a MPK mini, um, any of the smaller um, MIDI keyboards. So these are all the, the different types of sounds that they have. And this is the look of it. So once you install it, and I'll just minimize this here. When you install it, I think that's the first problem people run into is they don't know where to find it. So since it's a plugin, you're going to go to the plugins tab right here. If for any reason you know you installed it, but it's not showing up, just double check here in the settings area that you have, you know, scan your plugin it scan it will scan all your hard drive for plugins so maybe for some reason it didn't install all the way correctly or you might have had maybe like a tech gremlin or something but you can do rescan plugins and i typically have this kind of checked use plugins from the default system location if you have vsts and a custom folder click this sometimes that'll help out too and then just do a scan of your plugins so once you do that Go to all. Um, you probably see a folder that says favorite plugins. I made a little crate where I just put my favorite plugins. It's a little bit easier to get to. So go to all. Then I have arcade here. It'll show up as this. And you can tell that this is a plugin because it has this little icon right here. It looks like a little plug that you plug to an outlet. And then this has that same kind of deal right there. So, and all you do here is just drag it in to an empty space on this side. It might take a little, it might take a second or two to load up. As you can see here. So now I'm going to move this over. So now you can see it there. So this is what the main screen is going to look like. This is like the home page. Just kind of lets you know what's going on as far as like whatever kits they have. And they had definitely have a variety of stuff. I will give, give that to them. It's like insane how much new stuff they have. Search, you can search for specific kits. The sample kits, they refer to them as lines and they give you a description of what they are. So I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna make this window a little bit smaller. This here like this. Okay, there we go. And then I'm just going to pick a line from the drip, the drip, the drippity drip kit. And you can preview what they are. I'm just going to pick this one here. So this is what it looks like. So you'll see these four knobs here. These are the effects for this kit right now they're all off you click and hold you can drag this and it'll create the effect while you're playing the sound on the bottom here are all the sounds just gonna show you there 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 the top are different actual effect modulations you can do so if i hold down a key so this is one issue that people run into. They try to hit the key and it's like not triggering it correctly. 
especially on a MIDI keyboard, you're mm-hmm. like, wait a second, I'm hitting the middle note on my keyboard and mm-hmm. it's not correct. So what you have to do for this is actually take play and key off. By default, Serato will have this checked. You have to uncheck that. Now you have access to your actual, you know, letters to the keyboard. So now I can go across it without any issue. And also, sometimes the key of this will be incorrect to your project. Nine times out of ten, I've noticed that when I load Arcade, it doesn't match the key the first time around, so I have to manually do it. But super easy. Just go down to the bottom right-hand corner. Click the little tab. Major or minor. We are in A-sharp minor. So go to A-sharp minor right here. Now we're good. So then from there... Trying to get you to see a little bit better. There we go. So on my keyboard. And you got to make sure you're at the zero octave, meaning if I click this arrow down, I'm going to a lower octave. These keys aren't going to trigger. So I'm clicking on the keys. You don't hear anything because I'm not in the correct octave. There we go. So once you get to the green section here, you should be good. So if I go up one more, now I can trigger the other half. It's kind of messing with the sounds here. Okay. So as you can tell, I don't have any effects applied to it. If I wanted to apply an effect to it, I can just move these knobs. Now you should be able to hear a reverb. This is what's really fun about Arcade. You can really dial in the sound you're looking for. So once you kind of have the sound that you like, I just have like a drum loop that I've just placed over here. So I just hit play. I just start messing with it. like that so what you would do whenever you're ready just hit the record button it should start recording it so I'm just holding the key down so see how it showed up now So if you don't want to hold down the key, you can always just paint the the key the note in also. So for example, I'll just go down, go down. Let's see if I get anything from there. That's a little too much. So you can you can layer the samples as well if you like. Overlapping it. Again, it might not be the best, but you can, you know, stack layers of these sounds together if you wanted to. And what you could also do is actually do more than one instance of Arcade. So, for example, like I like that. Uh, maybe I want to do another one. Now, if you start adding a bunch of instances, depending on your computer specs, it might be tough to run it. Um, just with any plugin, the more you add, um, if your computer isn't 
the greatest one and might have a little t- a little bit of trouble trying to run the plugin. But for example, I'm going to try to find maybe another sample from the drip kit. Let's try to find kind of find something that has maybe like subs in it. Like a bass tone. Maybe something like that. So again, notice we're at A sharp minor. This is C. So what I do is click on this, minor, A minor, A sharp minor, boom, now we're in key. Take playing key off, now we can trigger it how we need to. Again, that's usually the biggest issue that we run into, which is getting that to work because it's not in line with our keyboard. semitone Love of the sub bass um, if you have headphones on you definitely hear it but um, if not I'll try to add another sound on there so let's just try to test this out like that bass I'm gonna go ahead and record that in so now I have that again one thing to make sure like say I'm off a little bit here if your timings off you have the little bracket that shows up click on the bracket and move it to the very beginning and it'll snap it to the very beginning of your um, sequence there so now we have two versions are uh, arcade and again if you want to relabel these you can you just right click rename deck I can call this like base arcade call this one like lead lead arcade whoops I'm over misspelling stuff there we go so now, now we got it all together. And like they say, it's just that simple. Again, biggest thing is once you install Arcade, go to the plugins, go to all, select Arcade, once you have that selected, you're going to go a little eyeball thing here. Pick the kit you're looking for. Most important thing, make sure you have play and key checked off. Then change the key here. And then just have fun trying to test some things out. So again, if you run into any issues, feel free to hit me up um, on my IG, DJGons123. Send me a message on YouTube. And I'll tr do my best to try to help you out if you're still having some struggles with it. Again, DJ Gons, you guys have fun. Peace.